For miraculous stories in the rarely known age of the Prophet. 1. The story of the stone that greets the messenger of Allah Shalalahu alayhi wa sallam. The first interesting story is that it tells of a stone that greeted the messenger of Allah Shalalahu alayhi wa sallam. This story begins when the Prophet was still in Mecca before being appointed as a Prophet. Of course this is unique and strange, because a stone is an object that cannot speak. Rasulullah Shalalahu alayhi wa sallam also knew about it, but neither he nor his friends thought of picking up or taking the stone home, let alone to use it as an antidote or a therapeutic tool if he was sick. From Jabir bin Samra's friend, he said that the Prophet Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had said, Indeed, I know a stone in Mecca greeted me before I was appointed a prophet. Indeed, I knew until now, hadith of Muslim history. 2. The story of the crying of the pillars of the mosque from the date palm. Another unique story during the time of the prophet is the story of the crying of the pillars of the mosque which came from a date palm. It is narrated in a hadith. From Jabir bin Abdullah he said, when the Messenger of Allah preached his sermon he leaned on a date palm on one of the pillars of the mosque. When the minbar was made and he sat on it, the pillar was crying like a camel moaning, everyone in the mosque heard it. Then the Messenger of Allah came down and rubbed it, then he was silent. Based on the hadith above, it is explained that the pillar felt sad because the Prophet no longer made himself a support. Hearing the cry of the pole, the Messenger of Allah rubbed it to stop but not to seek blessings from him. 3. The story of the tree that walked to the Prophet Muhammad. The next story comes from the tree that walked to the Prophet Shalalahu alayhi wa sallam. As narrated in the following hadith. From Yulah bin Mura'at's Sakafai, he said, When we were with the Prophet Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam on a journey, we stopped somewhere, then the Prophet Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam slept. Suddenly a tree came walking across the earth until it overshadowed the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Then he returned to his original place. When the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam woke up, I mentioned this to him. He said, He is a tree that asked permission from his God to greet me, then Allah Azza wa Jalla allowed it. However, even though the Prophet and his companions knew that there were trees that could walk, None of them sacred the tree as is customary for trees that are considered sacred. 4. The story of the camel who spoke to the messenger of Allah Shalalahu alayhi wa sallam. The last story comes from a camel that spoke to Rasulullah Shalalahu alayhi wa sallam. As narrated in the following hadith. From Yulah bin Mura'at's Tzakafai, he said, When we were with the Prophet Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam on a journey, we passed a camel that was being given a drink. When the camel saw the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he complained and laid down his neck. Then the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam stood close to him and asked, Where is the owner of this camel? Then came the owner, and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Sell it to me. Then the owner replied, We will give it to you, O Messenger of Allah. He belongs to a family that has no means of livelihood other than this camel. Rasulullah Shalalahu alayhi wa sallam said, Indeed he has complained about a lot of work and lack of food, so do you good to him.